What, what just happened? There's a big boom. Huge thunder, huh? I'm scared. I'm scared because we're gonna be gone. I'm scared. You're scared too? That's hail, guys. You see it? All right, good morning. This is our weather today. The forecast is for this all day long. There's severe thunderstorm warnings. Apparently we're having hail at the moment. And it is tornado season, so that's definitely a risk. We're gonna keep our you know, phones close to us with our alerts available and listen for sirens and do the best we can. The kids are pretty scared. A dinosaur. What's a dinosaur? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah. You're scared of the dinosaur? What's the dinosaur sound like? A loud dinosaur. It's a loud dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> Laura, it's the rain. It's called lightning and thunder. No, a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? 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 It's a rain. It is, it's raining. What you doing, babe? Oh, perfect timing with the camera. The umbrella fell. You know, just in my suit, getting ready to go to court, grabbing the umbrella that we have, the one umbrella that we own. <laughs> hey, we don't really live in an area where you need umbrellas, Jeremy. Laura, scoot over so I can jump down. <laughs> to the court. <laughs> Let's go. I'm getting... Well, I'm not usually somebody that lets weather get in the way of my plans. You know, I live in the Midwest, we have thunderstorms, we have snow, and you just keep living your life. So I loaded up the kids in the car to take them to their homeschool co-op this morning, and we started driving, and it's a bit of a drive. And we probably got five or ten minutes away from our house, and I just didn't feel good about it. I, like, the rain was coming down so hard that I couldn't see very well. It started hailing again, so that's never fun. There was lots of standing water on the road, so I was having to go really slow, and even then, some of the places I was having to drive through, I didn't feel safe. And then I saw two cars that had already spun off the road, and I was like, you know, I think we'll just go home. So we're gonna spend the day at home today. Soccer is obviously canceled for tonight. I had a meeting that I was supposed to go to today, and you know, that one's getting canceled, so it's gonna be a day at home, and I like that. So last night we introduced the kids to the Kids Baking Challenge. It's a show that's over on Netflix. They only watched the first half of the first show, but they went to bed last night brainstorming and talking about all these different recipes that they wanted to invent and try. And then today I come out and they all have a notebook and they're all writing these recipes. Caleb washed his hands and he's standing by the KitchenAid. Tell us about your I'm recipe. I'm using the KitchenAid. Oh, you're going to. Okay, what's your recipe? Caleb, one cup of sugar. One cup of vanilla, one cup of sugar, one cup of strawberries. Wait a minute, there's one cup of sugar two times. So how many cups of sugar does that make? Two. What? <laughs> oh. I just want you really yummy. Wow. So I'm gonna make it right now. So these two are hard at work on their recipes. Isaac's, what is yours kind called, Isaac? Blueberry crisp. Pie. Ooh. His recipe has a crust made out of frosted flakes and marshmallows, which sounds really cool. Marshmallows that are like melted. Oh yeah, like Rice Krispie treats. Mine is called Elise. Ooh. Uh huh. And if and if you want to do this, um, you can just we can take a picture of it, and then um, you guys can cook my recipe. Here's Elise's recipe. We've got one cup milk, two cups brown sugar, add Skittles, three cups of marshmallows, add strawberries, five bananas? Yeah. Six apples? Mm-hmm. Now you're done? Uh-huh, and now Whoa. you have to set the oven. Oh. Elise just asked if she could put two cups of sugar in her recipe or if that wasn't healthy for our bodies. That's a good thing to be thinking about. And Isaac asked what would happen to the Skittles in the oven. So, yeah. We're gonna have to experiment. I know. Elise, I'm gonna eat two cups of sugar and we'll see what happens to me. 
I am excited about their creativity and a little bit nervous. I don't know if I have the patience to do this in the kitchen with all of them, but I want to let them be creative and try new things and like learn what works and what doesn't, but I also don't want to waste a bunch of food ingredients. Caleb thinks he's like really starting his recipe right now. So I've been having some serious problems with my gutters and they just shot out two balls that were stuck in this one and on the other side, same kind of thing going on and so I'm glad we have people out here taking a look at it. So there's been a lot of talk of potential tornadoes in the area, so we decided to stock up on some things just to be prepared in case anything happens with the weather. So there are chances of rain coming up in a little bit, but the park is completely empty. And we're at one of the parks where there's no mud. It's a pad. Yeah. You want to push? Sure. Poll question for today. Have you ever been in a city when there was a tornado there at the same time? Are you putting a new band-aid on it? Yeah. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. What are, are they, what, do they have like a machine that makes it go? It makes what go? Um, the the stitches? Yeah. I don't know exactly how they take them out, <laughs> but I bet they have a way that it doesn't work. Because uh, doctors are cool like that. All right, so for about the last month, I've been meaning to do a tornado drill with the kids and get kind of a tornado kit ready. And the weather this morning totally inspired me that I needed to hurry and get it done. So if you hear this noise when you're outside, what should you do? Tell mom and dad. And come inside straight away. And how is this different than a fire engine? It doesn't go woo, woo, woo. It just stays at high pitch for a long time. <laughs> is it too loud? Yeah. So remember guys, they do a practice once a month. And so if you hear it outside, you can come tell mom and mom will know if it's a real like, emergency like or not. if it's a real one or not. Exactly. You will know if, if it's a real one if you see the Big wind. So, it's on Wednesday at 11 o'clock, I'll tell you guys if it's Wednesday. Hey mom. Hey what? I'm yelling. Is it too loud? Hey Laura, what's a tornado? Tornado is really nice. A tornado's really nice? Yeah. What is it? That's called loud. It is, it is loud. Lisey, what's a tornado? Um, it's when the clouds go ah. hey, mama. so fast, around and around. The bottom is so tiny, but then it goes Whoa. Yeah, you know the shape of it, huh? Sometimes it even goes up to 200 miles per hour. Are you serious? Okay guys, so there's two different things. There's a tornado warning and a tornado watch. I don't know the difference, that's what's hard for me. I have to remind myself every year because it feels different than what I think it should oh, be. I think I know. So which one's more severe, Lisey? Um, tornado um, warning. Yes, so tornado warning means the siren goes off and you go to where? The basement. Yep, and what does a watch mean? You're just, it might come. It might come. The conditions could happen, so you need to pay attention. Right? Yep. S say tornado watch or tornado, tornado warning ten times. Tornado watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, tornado warning. Your turn. Your turn. Tornado watch, tornado warning, tornado watch, tornado warning. Faster, faster. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Okay, Cubby's turn. Tornado warning. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Good job. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Tornado watch, tornado. All right, all right, time to pack our tornado bag. Oh, yeah! Isaac, go grab the water bottles. Okay. Lacey, can you yeah. go grab a pack of granola bars? Yeah. Laura, can you go grab me a diaper? I got All right, put it over here. All right, Laura, put your diaper in there. 
Well, we realized we need a bigger bag. Okay, can you guys put the flashlights in there? Good job. All right, you guys ready to do a practice run? Yep. Yeah. Everybody's gonna pretend to go to sleep, okay? Potato. Potato. You guys did great. All right, Lucy. All right, come on. We need to go to the basement. Do you want to bring your pillow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to bring the blanket? So in a real tornado warning, we'll have the kids line up all along here so there's like room for Laura, dad and right here. Caleb. So the safest place to go in a tornado is to go to the lowest level of your house possible and then to get away from windows. And so for us, that's obviously our basement. And then we have two areas without windows. We have our bathroom and then we have this playhouse that's underneath the stairs. And from what we've read, underneath the stairs is actually a really safe place. So we come in here and then Jeremy pulls a big couch to block the door because you don't want any flying debris to be able to come into the space where you're at. So that's what we do. So in one of my houses when I was little, we had a tornado warning when my parents were gone. So we had a babysitter and we went to the central part of our house on the ground floor, which we didn't have a basement. So it was our family's pantry. And my sister and her friend were babysitting us because they were older and they had us all grab our bike helmets. And we all sat in there with our bicycle helmets on. <laughs> Classic. I've heard of that. Yeah. Can we play a game of Uno <laughs> as a family? Well, that sounds like a fun idea. Jay House out! I am feeling really nervous because I'm about ready to take a pregnancy test.